Moose Lake High. I'm Nick Tolkar here with the morning news. And I'm Austin New. How are y'all doing today? Did you see Randy Moss's catch yesterday? Unbelievable. That was something fantastic. Pure amazing. He's an athlete. You bet. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Today we will cover what's for lunch, upcoming birthdays, upcoming sport events, and we will have an in-depth look at breast cancer awareness bracelets. We'll also be having an interview with one lucky student. That sounds pretty fun there. I'd say. All right. First, let's look at uh, what's for lunches. Lanou, what do you got? Well, uh, Monday we got Italian Dunkers, Tuesday's Cheeseburgers, Wednesday's Chicken Noodle Soup, Thursday's Hamburger Gravy, Mashed Potatoes, and Friday is Chicken Burgers. Over to you, Nick. This week's sporting events. Tuesday, Cross Country is running at Grand Rapids, dismissed at 12.40. Bus leaves at 1 o'clock. Junior High Volleyball versus Hermantown. Volleyball A, B, and C team are dismissed at 3.40 for the two-hour game. It's a load and a half. Thursday sports include Junior High Volleyball at Cloquet, dismissed at 3.05, bus leaves at 3.25, Varsity Volleyball, Esco, bus leaves at 4.15, Varsity Football at Como Park, St. Paul, teams dismissed at 1.45, bus leaves at 2.15. And we have some birthday boys today. Happy birthday to Mr. Andy Olson. Tuesday to Liliana Frederick. Thursday to Mr. Lemke and Luke Branson. Friday to Jeff Hansen. Saturday to Tyler Anderson. And Sunday to me, Nick Potar. Happy birthday, everyone. And over to our weatherman, Abe Young. Take it away, Abe. Abe! Thank you, Lanou and Tokar. Now, in Minnesota weather today, it's about 50 degrees out, and it's going to be rainy, ladies and gentlemen. Down south, there's a high chance of rain, 80%. Flash floods. It could be bad for the Twins tonight, but they already clinched the division, so we're set for the playoffs. Now, up north, we got a less chance of rain, but it's still going to be rainy. It's not a good day for Minnesotans. Hopefully the snow comes soon so you guys can get out of your snowmobiles and hit the ice ice fishing. Back to you, Anu and Tokar. And in other news, here's Eric's Paul Sess with our in-depth look at breast cancer awareness accessories. Over to you, Eric. Schools have been banning booby bracelets, which help support breast cancer. I went and interviewed a few people to see what exactly their opinions on on the banning of booby bracelets. So, what is your opinion about the school banning these booby bracelets? Well, I don't think it's a good idea because it's, the bracelets are showing people's support for breast cancer, so taking them away just kind of is telling them that they can't support it. Um, I feel like it's stupid because the bracelets are just here to help support breast cancer. And when the school takes that away from us, it's just taking away the support for breast cancer and it really makes me sad. I agree with the ban on the uh, bracelets. I think it's a great cause. Uh, but it is a clear violation of the dress code here at Moose Lake School. Well, that's their opinions. What are yours? Back to you, Nick. So reminders for the week. Wednesday, there's the union meeting in the choir room. Thursday at 1.30, there's an NHS meeting in the boardroom. Remember, next week is homecoming. And have a great week, everybody. Have a great week. And now let's stand for the pledge. All right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right.